Many people are of the persuasion that if you're a young Earth creationist that you are some kind of gibbering moron? I know, right? It's so unfair that when you believe something stupid for terrible reasons that require you to constantly and very literally lie about everything in the universe in order that any of it fits inside of your idiotic worldview that so many people say that you're dumb and they are shocked you have the ability to breathe without falling over from the sheer cognitive strain of doing so whilst standing still. That somehow you've bought into a conspiracy theory. Oh I see, well what you've got to understand is that it absolutely is a conspiracy theory because it has to be. You can't believe that the people, some of the smartest people alive today who spend all of their time studying various aspects of reality are somehow wrong about it all every last bit and all agree with each other in their wrongness whilst using a tool, as in science, which very specifically self-corrects but for some reason in these specific and fairly broad range of topics such as geology, biology, astrophysics and much more, they are just completely off the mark. But that's so vanishingly unlikely that only a fool would think that was the case. So it really has to be that they're actually all lying about it, that they have come together and agreed that whatever the facts say about it, they are going to keep going with the nonsense version that somehow still works and produces results when it's actually the other thing based on an ancient load of bollocks that has basically zero utility in functional explanations of the universe and produces nothing of tangible value. Sure. But I'm here to tell you that young earth creationism and creation science itself is the dumbest thing in the universe. I mean, you aren't going to mean to tell us that, but when you explain it to someone who has even a passing familiarity with how science works, it's extremely obvious how many overwhelming flaws it has. And to call it creation science is doing a massive disservice to the English language in general, because science is the pursuit of knowledge, but creation science pursues nothing but the suppression of actual facts. And I like words to mean things, thank you very much. Is in fact the best explanation for the observations that we make in the world. LOL, no, no it isn't. It is in fact a horrendously bad explanation for anything other than ancient people really had no idea how anything worked at all. The problem you always have is that you think that somehow we could have an explanation for how something works before we've done any studying of it or have any evidence for that conclusion and that your conclusion must be correct. So any evidence has to fit it otherwise it's wrong or bad or often just doesn't exist because made up because conspiracy. And what you fail to wrap your head around, whether intentionally or not, is that's not how actual science is done. Nobody came up with evolution or astrophysics or any other discipline or specific thing without any proof first. They found the proof and then they worked to explain that, whilst making sure that the explanation itself accounted for all of the evidence as best as possible. And if it didn't fit, it wasn't the evidence that was thrown out, but the explanation that is either altered to fit whilst still fitting everything else, or an entirely new one is sought which does do that. Again, this is why creation science just isn't science. You see, we find dinosaur soft tissue and dinosaur blood. Uh, well that came out of nowhere. You see, random thing. Well, okay, but Matt, are you sure about this? Because you know this whole soft tissue thing was discovered by one of those actual scientists and not a creative boy, right? And she kind of f***ing hates that you've glommed onto this. Not because she's so desperate to cling on to preconceived notions, but because it doesn't prove shit for you. Of dinosaurs that supposedly existed 65 plus million years ago. Yeah, soft tissues were not originally expected in dinosaur fossils. But the problem for you here is that they were still expected completely possible in samples of about a million years old. You know, that number that is a little bit bigger than 6,000 years. And ultimately, soft tissues or no tissue, whatever is discovered will then be accounted for in the explanations that are constructed. And I promise you that none of them will say, meh, God did it, I guess. 
The fact that science is self-correcting and that we are discovering more things about dinosaurs or whatever does not make the science wrong. Only, as we knew it was already, incomplete. Although arguably way more complete than any creationist explanation of f***ing anything. But this evidence that we found not only contradicts that, but proves Evidence that we found. Oh, you had a part of it, did you? You didn't find shit. Your lot never find anything, really. Especially not these days, when scientists lean away from religious literalism like it's the smelliest guy on a bus with no aircon or working windows in the middle of summer on their way to a rank bastard competition. And it would only disprove that we can't find really, really old soft tissue, not that dinosaurs are millions of years old. It takes a lot more than one outlier to disprove that the thing that literally all the other pieces of evidence are pointing towards, and in fact, makes it seem far more likely that we're just wrong about the tissue thing and that it can be preserved for longer. So good try, but no. Proves that the Bible was correct when the Bible told us that God made man and dinosaurs together. Holy shitting godge. That is not even close to anything that would vaguely be interpretable as a coherent thought. Because let me give you everything I can. Let's say soft tissue just cannot be millions of years old. Although when we say soft tissue, it isn't like meat, but basically flecks of collagen inside bone, as I understand. But whatever, let's just give you what you want. Again, that still gives you a range from now to a million goddamn years ago. So at the long end, well, humans have been around for about 200,000 years. So no, it doesn't in any way, shape or form. And to claim otherwise demonstrates that you're either deliberately being dishonest or that you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about, probably both. One of the other reasons that we know that creation science is true is because we find bent rock layers all across the world. You find that rock layers all across the world. Um, okay. And you see what I mean about how he's gonna just lump multiple fields of science to have full conspiratorial nonsense in order for your thing to be true? Basically, you're saying, my thing's not a conspiracy because look, it's actually multiple conspiracies. But that's not how that works. You're still a conspiracy theory. You're just a way more difficult to justify one because so many people would have to be involved for it to work. And as we all know, conspiracies only get better when you add random assholes to it. Now you cannot bend hard rock. According to evolution, these layers were slowly formed through plate tectonic shifts in the crust. Oh my god, you colossal fucking moron. Are you actually serious right now? According to evolution, literally anything about rock layers. You know, a geological field. You know what, Beyblades and gentle pogs? I think I might have been mistaken. I have, on more than one occasion, said, even in this video, I think that Matt Powell is a liar. But I am genuinely starting to believe that the man might be too f***ing stupid to lie about anything. If he thinks that f***ing evolution says anything about any geological structures, it makes him look so stupid, so ignorant of the subjects at hand, that he wouldn't know what was the untrue thing to even f***ing say. But the truth is that these layers would have not only eroded as they're being created, right? Because gravity causes everything to erode flat over time. What? No, not in that way. Not the stuff that's underground doesn't. What are you talking about? And that's where these visible layers tend to come from. Somewhere that the rocks have been under pressure and formed like that. And then geological movements push them out somewhere that we can see them and we go and have a look. Can't really remember the model that creationism presents that explains how that works, if I'm completely honest. Probably because it doesn't fucking have one. Mountains wouldn't exist if millions of years existed. Mountains wouldn't exist if millions of years existed. That is by far the dumbest thing I think I have ever heard you say. I mean, specifically you, because I've heard dumber, but still, what the hell are you trying to say? Do you think that because erosion exists, what, well, the earth should be a big smooth ball with, oh wow, like a mile and a half of water, cool. But uh, yeah, no, the earth is extremely dynamic. The surface is constantly changing. We know this, we've seen this, we've measured it over and over 
over again. For example, the Himalayas, you know, where Mount Everest is, gets about five millimeters taller every single year, but its rate of erosion is one millimeter a year. So yeah, no, what the f are you talking about, you ignorant jackass? Because gravity would have eroded those mountains. Gravity. Just gravity. Not rain or wind or frost or whatever other factors. You know, the things that need to happen for gravity to pull away the loosened surface. I seriously don't know if he just has no idea how literally anything works. Or if he just uses words that he heard one time and thinks that all words prove him right because magic. But even if we enter in a fantasy land and pretend that it's true, what well, the Bible, I mean, it's less fantasy and more nightmare of pedestrian prose and poorly constructed plot lines that go nowhere and make little to no sense. I can't think of anything worse, you know, other than having to spend an evening with Matt while he explains to me all the amazing benefits of Viagra as an incontinence aid. I don't think that would even work. Wouldn't you just piss on the ceiling? But, you know, unintentionally. It does not explain the bends in the rocks that we observe. No, evolution doesn't do that. You are right, because it is in no way trying to. The science that it is about that does, though. Is this why you think that evolution is wrong? Do you look up how does evolution explain X? unrelated science and when it of course fails to explain that because it wasn't even trying and then you're just like aha i knew it and well so did everyone else but we weren't f***ing stupid enough to ask you see we observe these bends that literally show that these rocks were moist and soft literally do they they literally show that how how do they show that? Since being bent doesn't actually show that. In fact, when materials are soft and moist, aren't they more likely to layer parallel to each other? And the actual explanations for bends in rocks, again, to my basic but nowhere near as nothing as Matt's understanding, is that they are bent by heat and pressure, which is why they keep their relative structure while changing shape. Seems perfectly reasonable to me, and in no way does it show up in the Bible for some reason. And lifted up all together in one event, in a catastrophic event, i.e. Noah's flood. Why exactly would a flood that came from the sky lift stuff up? I mean, I know water can be powerful, but that seems just very unlikely. And can you again demonstrate the processes of this? And how the rock then went, you know, rock solid without the same rock smoothening erosion you brought up earlier with its gravity and taking down all the mountains you know it's weird but none of this is adding up for some bizarre reason like i said before creation science isn't just some theory or just some random thing that people believe in Oh yeah, I completely agree about it not being a theory, because that's the thing, I actually respect the term theory for science, and would never in a million years apply that definition to something so lacking in any evidence or study as creation. A theory should be, and well is, something so robust and so well understood, with literal non-eroded mountains of evidence to support it. Evolution is a theory, gravity is a theory, creation is just what you did call it, some random thing that some people believe in. And even that is giving it way too much fucking credit. I'm a young earth creationist because I believe in demonstrated fact. <laughs> no, you don't. You think that the Bible is a literal book of literalism. That is the opposite of demonstrated fact. If anything, it's demonstrated bullshit. So many things in the Bible, where your creation science comes from, are nonsensical at best and out-and-out -out fabrications at most of it. The idea that you give even the smallest sliver of shit about demonstrated fact is, frankly, completely ludicrous that's been shown in real time. Shown in real time? What does that even mean? Science isn't about real time, it's about study and experiment. Yeah, some of those will be real time, I guess, but others can't be that. I mean, your wet rock bends. You literally couldn't have seen how those formed in real time. So you would have to do experiments to show how they would form. But that's still not real time in terms of how those formed. Yeah, a weird thing to say. How surprising. And that you can verifiably back up with facts and evidence. 
Again, no, no, you really don't. There's so much facts and evidence for things that you don't believe. The fact that you can say that with a straight face tells me one of a few things, that you have not heard of any of them, which seems very unlikely. I imagine people explain this shit to you near constantly. So the other, well, it seems more likely, and again just throws this back to, you are a conspiracy theorist. Being that you think it's all wrong lies that no one actually believes, because whatever reason. Probably because they hate God so much. One of the other things that proves creation science is mutation rates. Ah, of course it does. You know, I figured this out now. He doesn't actually have to say how something proves his wacky stupid ass beliefs. He just has to say it does and then move on. It's so smart. But you know, it's like I was saying, the fact that air is a thing that exists really does prove how all the whiskey in the universe is mine and should be put into my mouth right now. Hashtag profound. Dot dot dotly stupid. From generation to generation, us humans accumulate 100 to 200 more mutations than our parents had. I know that you are 100% copy error mutations, as it says up there. I mean, that brain of yours, for a start, it's supposed to be full of neurons, but instead, it's just all spaghetti. You know, I would slap the roof to demonstrate that fact, but I really would prefer not to touch Matthew. I don't want to risk catching more stupid than I already have. So, our offspring is continuously gaining more and more mutations. The genetic load of mutations is increasing over time as we reproduce. I don't know if that's accurate, but the fact of the matter is animals change. So I would expect there to be a difference from human to human going forward. And that's all mutations are, is change. Some good, some neutral, some Matt Powell. But all expected, well apart from the Matt Powell bit, and yet, Far more inexplicable by a book that said that a perfect god who's perfect and does everything perfectly, unless we need him to have f***ed up because we wrote ourselves into a corner when he's completely f***ing useless, seems legit. This means that we did not all descend from a common ancestor. Uh, no? It means that we were created individually and that we have built-in genetic diversity. Uh, no? What? I thought that mutations didn't prove evolution, but they do prove diversity, which is the thing that evolution explains. God damn it, Matty! What is actually wrong with you? Did science kick your childhood dog, and that's why you feel the need to say stupid, ridiculous shit about it constantly? Fuck! And that creation science, once again, is something that you can show to be true. Absolutely, positively not. And for one reason. Even if everything you said about how evolution is done because I don't understand geology and probably anything else was accurate, that wouldn't change the fact that you don't get to slot your explanation in its place without actually doing the work. That's why real scientists are out there doing actual science, while creation scientists sit in fields, kitchens, cars and hulls pontificating about how everyone else is wrong without providing a shred of actual evidence for how they are right. It's almost like you're a bunch of f***ing conspiracy theorist dipshits or something. Oh, right. Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six channel Spoonstar Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-